Hundreds of nursing home residents have lost their lives to the coronavirus in Ohio. In addition to events that were planned for National Assisted Living Week, a Youngstown Living Community set up a special tribute for those who will not be here to join them. Spinning with every passing breeze, 2,428 pinwheels make up a memorial with each one representing a nursing home resident in Ohio taken by the coronavirus. The display off Vestal Road was put together by OmniWest Assisted Living staff to remember those who will not be able to participate in events happening this week. I would get overwhelmed and I, I didn't know their names, but I acknowledged the fact that it wasn't just a pinwheel. It represented somebody's life. It took Julie and a few others about eight hours to put every single pinwheel into the ground. And if the state updates the number of deaths this week, they plan to add more. And I wanted to honor their memory in a way that um, would be touching. Windsor House operates Omni West and several other facilities. It's seeing fewer coronavirus cases. Parkside Healthcare Center in Columbiana County is its only facility dealing with some cases of COVID-19. They have more access to testing and right now they're preparing for what fall and the flu season could bring. We are um, already doing um, and starting to do the flu shots uh, within our uh, assisted living and skilled nursing communities. Um, so right now, you know, we feel confident going into the fall with the flu season um, will be okay. It is a moving memorial whenever you go out there. Shepherd of the Valley's clinical director also tells me that they still have two cases of COVID-19 right now. He says that the state needed to be better with streamlining testing and access to lab results at the onset of this pandemic. As for visiting loved ones, Rowland is hearing that indoor visitation guidelines could be announced in Ohio as early as next week.